something that is near and dear to my heart and it's kind of hard to talk about but it's the idea of shame it kind of all came about because i fell the other day with the dog i still have like my band-aid <laughs> you know when we fall in life it's it, we get back up but there's like shame involved and throughout my life like what i realized was throughout my life i really um, held myself back you know i had twin boys at 16 and i carried a lot of shame around letting my family down and what shame does it holds us in place it keeps us down you know once we fall emotionally it takes a lot of time and i really think that as women we need to take that that long period of time that we are held in shame and you know do it quicker just like when you fall <laughs> when, when the dog's chasing a ball and you trip you know you you fall you look around did anybody see me oh that was embarrassing and you get back up and you move on you put a band-aid on and that's it but for some reason especially as women we want to hold on to that shame and we feel like we're not worthy of not being in shame like it's almost like we wear it as our armor and so what I'm here doing today and what I've learned in the last year or so is that you can't let that shame hold you back. You really just have to jump back in and keep going. And it's okay to share your story. It's okay to share your wounds. You know, it, it just makes us stronger.